Okay, it's Mrs. Green. This lesson is percents as fractions. We had we touched on this a little bit in the last lesson, which was percents as decimals. I was writing them as both, and my little graphic here has all three. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, it's moving around. Um, because they're so related, it's kind of hard to talk about one without referring to the others. So you're going to have a little bit of overlap. That's okay. Um, so you're putting down your prior knowledge, prior knowledge, and um, then we're going to do key information. Okay, so key information. Two things I want you to type. One of them is how to find the percent of a number. The percent of a number. So to find the percent of a number, a couple of steps. Oh, it got cut off. Okay, I have to fix this. Okay, it was just the word fraction was hidden. Okay, so to find the percent of a number, it's two steps. First, the first step is for me to get my pen to work. Okay, the first step is to change the percent to a decimal or fraction. So um, we're going to do fractions in a minute, and so I'll show you how to do that. And then um, we did decimals on, in the last lesson. Once you have your percent, you can't multiply by a percent. So if you have 25% and you try to multiply it with, by... So you have 50. You can't multiply. You have to convert uh, that percent to a decimal or fraction before you can operate with it. So you, that's the first step. Then, since the word of translates to multiplication in a percent problem, you multiply. So um, if you have 25% in my example of 50, that translates to 25% multiplied by 50, but you have to change that 25% to a decimal or fraction first. So um, we know how to do a decimal. We just move the decimal place 2 to the left, so 0.25 times 50. So that would be how you set up your multiplication problem if you were trying to find the percent of a number. Second piece of key information. Second piece of key information, so this is still key information, key info. Percents as fractions. So the instructions for writing a percent as a fraction are that um, since percent means per 100 or out of 100, in order to write x percent as a fraction, use x as the numerator and 100 as the denominator, then simplify. So we were doing a little bit of that when we were changing to decimals. I was rewriting all of them in fractional form, but I wasn't simplifying. I was changing them to decimals after that. So the first step is the same as the last lesson. And I've got a little graphic over here. Change it to a um, fraction and then simplify. So here are some example problems. So example one, um, we want to find 15% of 240. There was a problem in the book that talks about um, some seedlings and replanting some, and they want to replant 15% of of the seedlings, they have 240 of them, so 15% of 240, the first step, if we look back, was to find, uh, was to change the percent to a decimal or fraction. So we're going to change this to a fraction, since this lesson is on fractions. Oh, maybe I'll do it both ways. We'll do both. So I'm going to change 200, or 15% to a fraction, so that would be 15 over 100. If I simplify that by dividing 5 over 5, I'm going to get 3 twentieths. And then I can multiply that by 240 because I know how to multiply fractions. I'm going to look for my common factors. I can factor out a 10. And then um, I'm going to multiply across. So 3 times 25 is 75. 2 times 1 is 2. I'm not getting the answer that I thought I was going to get. The answer in the book says 36, so I must have done something wrong. Let's see here. Divide by 5, divide by 5, 320, divide by 10, divide by 10, multiply by 3, multiply by 2. I've got to look for a second. If you've noticed my error already, good. I have to find it to fix it. All right, I see what I did. I wrote 250 instead of 240. You probably caught that as I was doing it. I like when I make errors because it 
forces me to look at my work more closely. Okay, so we have to fix this. Let's do it with a different color. How about an orange? So this should have been 240. So this would have been 24. So 3 times 24 would have been 12, carry the 1, 72. Ah, there we go, 36. Okay, fix that one. Second example problem. Example problem 2, 25%, which is 25 over 100. I'm not going to do the division because that was the decimals in the last lesson. I am going to simplify. So I can divide by 25 over 25. Gives me 1 over 4. Done with that one. 325%. That's going to be 325 over 100, out of 100. Divide by, uh, I'm going to try 25 first. So I know that's going to be 4, 12, 13, and 4. Um, and then if you want to, you can express that as a mixed number. 4 goes into 13, 12, or 3 times, and 1 fourth. Either one of those is fine. As we've talked about, an improper fraction is not wrong. It's okay. Depends on what you're doing with it, which we don't know, so either one is fine. Hey, example four. 0.2%. I'm going to put 0.2 over 100. So that's whatever's in front of the percent symbol goes on the top numerator. 100 goes on the bottom. Now we're simplifying. If I divide by 2, I get 0.1 over 50. And then I can't leave that as uh, with a decimal sitting inside a fraction. I have to fix it. So I'm going to multiply by 10 over 10 or move the decimal one place to the right and get 1 over 500. Last example problem, negative 75%. That's negative 75 over 100. Whatever's in front of the percent goes on the top. 100 goes on the bottom. Out of 100, 100 per 100. Negative 75 divided by, oh, I shouldn't have put an equals. Yeah, divided by 25 over 25, I think that'll do it. Negative 3 fourths. Okay, here are your five practice application problems. Number one, 65% of 250, so calculate that, um, finding the percent of a number. 30% of 120, so that was the first part of our lesson, key information. Then we're rewriting percents as fractions, 40%, negative 32.5%, and one, negative 124%. So have those ready when you come to class, do your wrap-up, and I will say goodbye.